Hello and welcome back to the Cracking Thang YouTube channel. Today we're going to be solving lead code problem 198, House Robber. This problem is an absolute classic. Matter of fact, I actually got this in one of my first Fang interviews all those years back. What a throwback. Alright, you are a professional robber planning to rob houses along a street. Each house has a certain amount of money stashed. The only constraint stopping you from robbing each of them is that adjacent houses have security systems connected and it will automatically contact the police if two adjacent houses were broken into on the same night. Given an integer array nums representing the amount of money in each house, return the maximum amount of money you can rob tonight without alerting the police. So let's look at a basic example where we have 27931. So to do this in the most basic way, we could just add up all of the possible combinations. So we could rob house two, then rob nine, because we can't rob seven because they're next to each other. And then we can't rob the three, so we could do the one, and this will give us 12. Or we could skip house two, we could rob seven, and then three, this would give us 10. We could actually skip uh, two, we could do seven and one if we wanted to, that would be weird, but okay, we could do nine and one, uh, which would give us um, 10, we could do two and nine, which would give us 11. And I'm sure there's a combination out there. But actually, the best one is actually two plus nine plus one is if we rob this house, this house, and this house. So unfortunately, uh, doing it this way is not very efficient, because we have to generate all possible combinations. And if our nums is really long, obviously, that's not going to be very efficient. So we want to do this in the most efficient way possible, which is actually going to be in a greedy manner where we are going to track uh, what's going to happen if we take our current house. Um, and then we also want to track if we don't take our current house in terms of robbing it. So we're going to have two variables here. We're going to say previous, which was the previous house we robbed. And then we're going to have the previous before the previous. So we'll call it prev prev because it's the previous before the previous. So these are both going to start at zero because we haven't robbed anything yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go left to right over the array. And what we're going to do is we're going to say that our best answer. So we're going to say, um, you know, the best answer that we have so far is going to be what? So the best answer that we have so far, whoops, is going to be the maximum between what? It's going to be the maximum of our value that we have now. And remember that if we take the value at this current house, that means that we couldn't have taken the previous one, but we can rob the previous to the previous. So the maximum is going to be the value that we get from our current house plus the previous value that we've been able to rob. And we're going to keep this accumulating as we go. And then it's going to be the maximum of that or the previous house. So we only want to take our current house if taking it plus whatever the the previous previous was is actually greater than the previous. So say that five times quickly. So that's going to be the best. And then we need to update our actual answers. So we're going to say that the, pre the previous answer is going to be whatever our best was. And then the previous previous um, is going to be equal to whatever the, the old previous was. So basically, we're not necessarily keeping track of the actual value of the previous one, we're actually just keeping track of the, the previous best answer and the best answer before that. And that way that when we encounter a new value, we can compare whether or not we should have taken um, whether we should have skipped the previous house, or we should go with the previous previous answer and then add our current value to it. So hopefully that makes sense. It's a little bit confusing because we have previous and then previous previous, but they're not actually tracking the previous and previous value. It's more of the previous uh, sums that we're tracking. Uh, and we're going to accumulate them as we go through the list and then basically add them up and then see what has the best answer at the end. But this problem is really simple. It's actually only about five lines of code. So let's not go to the code editor, type this up, but it's going to take about two seconds. So yeah, all right, I'll see you there. So we are back in the code editor. And like I said, this is going to be about five lines of code. So we have our previous sum. And then we have the previous previous answer that we had. So previous previous, and these are both going to be set to zero in the beginning, because obviously, we haven't robbed any houses yet. So we're going to say for val in nums, or we can just say for num and nums probably clear for num in nums, what we're going to do is the best answer is obviously going to be the maximum of whatever the current 
uh, number is the current house value plus the value of the previous previous house that we robbed because remember we cannot rob two consecutive houses or uh, so it's gonna be the maximum of this whatever this sum is or the previous uh, best answer that we had so basically if we had robbed the last house and then that like chain of robbing houses uh, with one gap in between them uh, where we basically robbed the last house so that is the best one and then now we just need to update our solutions here so we're gonna say prev and previous uh, previous is going to equal best uh, and prev and this is a Python thing because it will actually swap them at the same time uh, if you try to do this in a different language uh, line by line if you tried to set uh, prev equal to best and then prev prev equal to prev obviously now you've overwritten it um, and it will actually be the wrong one so if you're doing this in a different language make sure that you actually um, set your previous value of prev to a temporary variable uh, in Python, these will actually get assigned at basically the same time. So you won't have that value of overriding um, prev with whatever best is, and then you just assign it to prev prev. Um, it just does it simultaneously with whatever the old value was. So you don't have to worry about that. But if you're doing this in a different language, obviously you don't have this uh, notation. So make sure to set up a temporary variable for your uh, old previous value. Otherwise, you will actually overwrite it and you'll get the wrong answer here. So you have been warned. Anyway, uh, the last thing we need to do is simply just return. Uh, once the loop ends, we just need to return the maximum between prev and prev prev. And those will basically be our solutions. So um, let's now find the actual submit button. It seems to have vanished as usual. Okay, run this, totally fine. And okay, cool, we are accepted. So let's now uh, think about the time and space complexity, which is actually going to be really simple. So for the time complexity, obviously we just go through the numbers one time. Uh, so that's going to be big O of N. And then for the space complexity, it is going to be actually big O of one because we don't use any extra space. All we have is these two variables, prev and prev prev, uh, but these are just uh, constant space allocations. So our time complexity is gonna be big O of N and our space complexity is going to be constant. So yeah, that's how you solve this question. This is the most optimal solution really easy to understand, really easy to code. As you can see, like I said, it's like five lines of code um, if you kind of ignore all the white space here. So really not that complicated. Uh, this is probably the closest thing we'll get to dyna dynamic programming on this question, uh, on this channel, because you know, I, I hate that stuff. Um, and yeah, I mean, now that the economy is basically screwed and there's no jobs in the market, uh, I, this is a really useful skill, you know, knowing which uh, houses to rob. Um, could come really handy if you guys uh, need money. So yeah, uh, definitely don't do that. You know, don't rob houses. That's a terrible idea. Just joking. I guess you guys didn't get it. We make a lot of jokes on this channel. Um, yeah, don't go to jail. It's not worth it. It's not going to be fun. I've never been, but personally, I don't want to. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling because you guys are probably rolling your eyes at this point. If you made it this far, actually, just leave a comment. Be like, I listen to your stupid jokes uh, week in, week out, and I actually enjoy them. Leave that in the comment section below. It'll help with the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like and a comment. If you wanna see more content like this, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. If you wanna join a Discord community where we talk about all things Fang, interviewing, resume reviews, uh, referrals, link will be in the description below. Uh, hope to see you there. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.